had a, on base at Fort Detrick, there was a, a big ball, a hexagon shaped ball, that they call it the eight ball. Call it the eight ball. And it had phone booth looking apparatuses all around the edges of it. And whoever went to that booth, that was his number. And they knew how many uh, liters of air and how many uh, germs was in that liter of air that I was going to be exposed to. I'm Dan Zacharias, Dale Haney, I'm Dale Raines. In 1963, when I was drafted, I was a, a conscientious objector, not against going to the military, but just against carrying arms. We'd go in the medics and uh, serve in hospitals. The military devised a method that was called the White Coat Operation that would enable us to serve and still be the conscientious objectors that we needed to be. I was on BEE, which is Venezuela Equine Encephalitis, and we were ejected. But we never knew what dosage we were getting, what serum we were, or whether it was a placebo. We did not know that. I don't know whether it was the serum that was supposed to prevent it, but whatever they told me later, that I was immune to VE. I went into the to the eight ball and, and breathed the liters of air on a, on a morning of about nine o'clock in the morning. By 10 o'clock the next day, I started getting fevers. And they had me in a room that was glass on two sides and a doctor and a nurse sat on each side of me, one on the side and one at the back of me, watching everything that we did. And I was completely quarantined from all that at the time that all this was going on. And the fevers got up to about 104 to 104 and a half, never got to 105 that I know of. But I didn't really know a whole lot about what was going on at that time. Well, they were always promised us that, you know, they said, don't worry about your medical, we'll always take care of that. Yes. But when I went down to apply for VA benefits, they had not a clue what I was talking about. Well, I didn't pursue speeches. it because I have insurance now, but. When I retire and don't have insurance anymore, then I don't have a choice but to go to the VA. Being in the <clears throat> being in the white coats, I feel was a it was an honor. The help that I have given, as far as the serums and things that have been the medicines that's been uh, supplied to the military, we've saved millions of lives, and, and there would be millions of people that would not have lived through those years. If we have an opportunity to add to some of the history. Of, and the knowledge of what happened in white coats, then at least it's recorded. Once, once that's gone, it, it's it's just a blank wall that you you know you hit. Then you got to start and rebuild your life. And like I said, Norman and I were you know, we were just two friends trying to survive. And we did, but uh, God put Norman and I together, and we built. You know, we've got a. We're working on 21 years now.